Formula Ford has seen a transformation in its engines over the last four decades, culminating in the latest, the EcoBoost unit. But it all began with the 1600cc Kent engine. The old Kent cars are very famous. They were around from when Formula Ford started in 1967, and we didn't change that engine until I think 1993. So it's just there's hundreds and hundreds of those engines around, and people just associate that era of Formula Ford with the Kent engine. So that's the engine they want to keep putting back in those cars. When we first started doing Formula Ford, the the majority of the drivers that were involved at that time were just ordinary working chat for the weekend, they would get their pickup truck, put their Formula Ford on the back and go off racing. 1600cc, four cylinder, iron block, iron head, um, carburettors, coil, points, you know, the, the normal, you know, old type of uh, uh, engine technology. The thing with the Kent engine is it was comparatively cheap initially to run the engines. The Kent engine spanned over 20 years, but in 1993, a new kid on the block took over, the more powerful 1800cc ZTEC block. We held out with the Kent engine for a very, very long time, but in any walks of motorsport now, we have to, uh, we have to prove our, our technology you know, through our motorsport programmes. And if you like, the ZTEC in 93 was the very start of that. The 1800cc injection engine, which um, was basically the first involvement from uh, a carburetor type engine to a modern injection type engine. Some 13 years later, in 2006, the heavy ZTEC power plant was superseded by the lighter, faster Duratec. The Duratec was, uh, again, a lighter, much lighter engine than the, uh, than the ZTEC engine. It went back to 1600, um, and it was, more, it was more of a racy engine. It was light, it had a lot of horsepower, uh, it didn't give any trouble, so it was everything you want an engine to be. The engines we put in Formula Ford have always been our very popular engines that covered, I wouldn't say most, but a vast number of our vehicle models, whether that was in the Kent days, whether it was in the old Cortinas and Escorts, and continuing on with the, with the uh, ZTEC, with Mondeo, um, Focus, uh, Scorpio, and all the engines that may have gone into. You know, we always try and choose the engine that is very, very popular within, you know, within the Ford range. And in 2012, the latest generation was introduced, the all-new Direct Injection Turbo EcoBoost. That produces around 175 horsepower. Um, and again, it was we had to change to the EcoBoost. We all wanted to change to a very modern engine. Again, it's about the show, showcasing Ford technology. Um, the the 1.6 EcoBoost engine is a very efficient engine. Yes, it's turbocharged, um, but many of the higher formulas in, in most, not most, in some forms of motorsport are turbocharged. It's something that drivers need to be familiar with. Um, and in reality, what that did give us, because of its because of the way the engine works and because of how, how production the engine is and because it's turbocharged, the power is on tap almost immediately. The whole ethos of Formula Ford has gone up a, a ladder now that it is more of a professional type situation than, than what, it, what it was when it first started. And in 2013, the EcoBoost power plant is being put into a new car. This is the Formula Ford 200. It's like the old one, but a little bit different. With our new car for 2013, the EcoBoost 200, clearly we're adding now all of the aerodynamic wings, um, and that in theory will then up, end up slowing the car down because of the drag that goes with those. But we're going to increase the performance of the EcoBoost up to about 200, 210 horsepower. It's like anything, we'll always tune it so it's a tiny bit faster when we start, but we know when all of our teams have developed it and they've, they've got their head around how the car works with all the aerodynamic devices, they're going to be at least probably two seconds a lap faster than the previous EcoBoost.